Certainly the mood in the last decade has been this is not happening, not in our lifetime, not in the next 50 years, not in the century. Uh, my feeling is a little, is uh, more conditional, meaning this. Uh, I think um, this conflict changes with the global environment. Uh, sometimes I call it uh, the tofu conflict, that the, just like tofu takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it in, uh, that's, that characterizes a bit this conflict. When this conflict was just beginning, when Zionist, Zionism emerged as a movement for national, for self-determination for the Jewish people in Israel, uh, it, the whole conflict had the flavor of colonial times because this was imperial colonial times. So Herzl, the first visionary of Zionism, he went to the British, he went to the German Kaiser, he went to the Ottoman Sultan in order to ask them for a strip of land here for uh, a Jewish homeland. Uh, later to the British when this became the mandate. During the Cold War, this conflict had the flavor of the Cold War. Israel was on the side of America. The Soviet Union supported the Arab states. During the 90s, this had the flavor of the 90s. Like we said, the openness, the unipolar Pax Americana world. This last decade has been globally marked by a sense of civilizational, existential conflict between religions, between civilizations, between ways of life that cannot coexist. This has been the dominant way of thinking in the world in the last decade. Uh, and this has been the flavor of this conflict in the last decade, much more religious, existential, civilizational. If the world is in the process of changing again, then this conflict will change again, and, the, and then we will see a new opportunity for peace. Uh, just like the, the only real opportunity for peace happened in the 90s, when the world was in that mood. If this were to be the situation again, it will happen in our lifetime. Otherwise, no.